What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. If you're first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toya, and I'm here to do a reading for you guys. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you for the likes and subscribe thus far. And let's get into this video. Also, disclaimer, I just want to say, if you do not like the fact that I can actually pick up on your energy, that I can actually read your energy and to the point where I can pick up on names or to the point where I can literally quote the way that you talk or the way that somebody will talk to you, don't watch my channel. It doesn't make any sense, okay? So if that you don't like that and you feel like, oh my God, she's stealing my energy. No, I'm channeling exactly what I claim to be doing here, okay? But today I'm doing a tarot reader reading. So hit that like and subscribe button. Thank God for the likes and subscribe thus far. And let's get into this video, all right? Now, I am definitely seeing that you guys are actually in a really, really positive energy here. I feel like you are vibing very, very high, okay? I feel like, like I said, you're, you're feeling good. You're looking good. You're in a very, very good energy here, okay? Maybe some of you guys recharge your battery here okay so maybe some of you guys had a break um maybe you guys have been resting here but it definitely seems like you've rejuvenated your energy here you're in a very positive good energy okay but there's some type of evidence i feel like people are like getting getting evidence that you're like very positive maybe you were sad maybe people are like yeah she was definitely sad or he was definitely sad because today they're feeling very positive. They were definitely feeling depressed or something because right now they're positive here. Uh, they're feeling really good. Like they've been in this really good energy. This is actually a really good, positive person. Maybe when I first uh, encountered them, they were sad. They were depressed. They were like in sorrow for some reason here. Okay. Because maybe these people judged you. Like, I genuinely feel like somebody judged you and now they're getting evidence like, no, they were grieving. Some of you guys were in mourning. Some of you guys, like I said, there was something going on where you were sad, you were unhappy, um, sorrow. It's, it's like a lot of sadness um, whenever this person or these people first met you. Because some of y'all, this could have even been years ago. Hell, it could have been one day they saw you and you were sad and then they made a judgment call on you. But like I said... The evidence is you continue to be a positive person over and over and over again, time and time and time again. And now these people feel like they ruined a good thing. I do feel like a group of people could have judged you, even though you're a very, very positive person. It's almost like they didn't give you time to grieve. They didn't give you time to be sad. They almost feel like you are not allowed to be unhappy. It's something of that nature where I do feel like people judge you here. Okay, and they, now they feel like they ruined a really good thing because they could have had a really cool connection with you or they really could have vibed with you. Okay, some of you guys, maybe this person feels like they ruined a good thing for a few people or a group here. Okay, or like I said, a group of people feel like they ruined a good thing for you. These people, I, I feel like somebody was being very insecure. So they started being messy towards you. Messy, mad, and miserable. These people are messy, insecure, miserable, mad. And like I said, they like made a judgment call on you off of you being sad or depressed or something. It's like they tried to control you, but these people are very insecure. Maybe they caught you at a time when you were feeling sad or insecure. Okay, but like I said, there's a lot of evidence here. Like people are like, no. Did you see this shit? Like, they're actually this. Or they're the bomb. They're the shit. They're this. They're that. They're doing this. Like, people are actually getting evidence. And I do feel like somebody feels like they ruined a really good thing. Somebody feels super defeated. They feel like, damn, I low-key. Somebody feels like they low-key fucked up. They're realizing that they were messy and mad and miserable. Trying to control you. They didn't, like I said, it's like somebody didn't give you time to grieve or be sad or they didn't understand that you were depressed. But now that you're like out of that energy, you're very positive, very happy. Maybe you don't fuck with them. Like, I remember how they treated me when I was down. Or I remember what they said about it. It's like something where somebody's like, damn, I know he fucked up. Now they feel defeated because you're in a very positive, happy energy. They feel very unhappy. Maybe they tried to come at you indirectly. Like, it's almost like a group of people were indirectly trying to come at you, talk about you, target you in order to control you because you make them feel insecure. Yeah, these people were doing this out of their ego. You make these people feel insecure because you are a healer or you are healing or you are helping heal people. But maybe at that time you were sad. Like, maybe you guys are healers. But you went through something where you were sad. People are like, oh, shit, I didn't give them time to 
grieve. They started being Karens towards you. They started, hmm, well, if I do this, then I would have been like this. No, you wouldn't have. If your mom died, you wouldn't have been up that fast. If whatever, if your pet died that you had your whole life, you wouldn't have been up that fast. It's like something that they wouldn't be able to understand. They were being bitchy and talking shit about you and being Karens behind the scene and being really me 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 messy and miserable behind the scenes. Okay? And they didn't realize, like, no, you're really just going through a, a sadness or a depression. This could even be people in your neighborhood. Now they feel defeated, though. I do feel like you're no longer in that energy. Like I said, you're in a very positive, happy, good energy. Um, yeah, I, I just feel like y'all are in a really good energy. Maybe some of y'all, y'all cut these people off. These could be family members. Maybe some of y'all felt bad because you had to break generational curses. It's almost like some of y'all felt bad. For what they did to you. Some of y'all felt bad for being happy. Some of y'all felt bad for being positive. Okay? For being in a good mood. For vibing high. This is who you are. You're a naturally high vibing person. Even when you're vibing low. Even when you're sad. But it seems like somebody tried to use your sadness. Your depressed. Your depressedness. Or your unhappiness towards you. This could have even been like an ex-lover. Or you were sad about a lover, like give they need to give you time to heal. It's like you needed to heal from a situation. Earth angels, healers, they need to heal too. This is how they are able to heal others or help others heal. Okay? So forgive yourself because some of y'all y'all felt low. You felt down. You felt like dang. You, maybe you felt crappy. Like, like I said, sad. You were in the midst of healing. But these people were like trying to rush you. This could have even been like physical healing. Like you were not feeling good physically. Like your health was not good. Some of y'all. Like people trying to rush you or make you feel bad. They're not realizing, they're not even looking at you, realizing like, oh, this person's sick. Oh, this person's really sad. Oh, this person is this. But they tried to control you out of their ego. Being a Karen. Okay, but whatever you're doing, you're meant to be doing it. Like I said, a lot of you guys here are healers. A lot of you guys are very talented. It doesn't matter what you're doing, but you're very, very talented people. But a lot of you guys are healers. Uh, some of you guys are very talented. Maybe all you need is like somebody to give you a chance here. But I'm telling you, this caring energy from behind the scenes ruined it or they tried to ruin it in the past. But now they're feeling sick. They're feeling defeated because people are getting evidence. Everybody that like went against you with this person, this Karen, or listened to this Karen, or every everybody that heard what this person said about you, they're getting evidence that you're actually, like I said, a very positive person. You were just sad or depressed, okay? Or within divine timing, guys, because some of y'all, y'all still going through this, or you feel like shit has not flipped around, but I'm telling you, within divine timing, everything will flip around. Um, everything that you're doing, you're meant to be doing. You're very talented. You're very gifted. Okay, so keep doing what you're doing. Some of you guys are musicians, um, models, artists, content creators, comedians, actors, TV personalities. There's so much that you guys could be doing. Like I said, painters, anything. Whatever you're doing, you're meant to be doing it. But like I said, it's like you have to take a time for yourself. To grieve, to be sad. You had a breakup. It's okay to be sad. You have to get that energy away from you. Get that energy out of you. Some of you guys, you literally lost somebody. You have to um, grieve. Like, And people are like rushing you for whatever it is that you do. And then they try to, since you didn't do it in a time, maybe you didn't do it in a timely manner for them. Okay? Since you do it, didn't do it in a timely manner, they really tried to control you out of their ego. They started talking about you around town. Yep, it says we're talking to town, talking about it, gossip. They started gossiping about you around town, and now everybody that was gossiping about you or this person that was gossiping about you realizes that everybody is now seeing that you are, like I said, very positive, a very genuine person. Damn, everybody's seeing that this person had malicious intentions towards you. This person was just being mean. This person just bitchy, y'all. This person's just a Karen. Okay? 
Say for material things. But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the gist of it. it like, don't feel bad. Some of y'all, this person has been going around talking about you because of some type of material thing that you have now. So you might have like a new car. You could have had a new home. You could have came out with some new clothes. This person's now a been obsessed with you ever since then. They already went into this caring energy, gossiping about you, making you feel like you need to hide, like feel bad for being happy, for be, feel bad for being yourself, some of you guys. Um, others of you guys, like I said, you were sad. Somebody made you feel bad for being sad. This is somebody that would, like, no matter what energy you were in around them, they don't like you. <laughs> so, if you were happy, like I said, they'll make you feel bad for that. This is this type of energy. Be like, I don't want to be too happy around this person, you know. I don't want them to get irritated. And, um, but also, this is the same type of person. Like, damn, they need to do this and do that. And, like, you're depressed. You you just, you're sick. You're, it's something going on here, Okay. Um, but <laughs> you need to know that you have done nothing wrong. This, I didn't even see this card. You have done nothing wrong. This person is just fake as fuck, conniving. Now they're obsessed with you. And like I said, some of y'all got some form of material wealth. Some of y'all, y'all could have stepped into more money. Some of y'all, maybe you stepped into what you do. Like, let's say you learn how to do the guitar behind the scenes and now you're showcasing it. This person is now obsessed with you. But yeah, they feel like they ruined a good thing because they told all those people that shit about you. They made you miss a lot of opportunities. All because you were sad or depressed or actually sick. All right? But you're good. <laughs> like I said, they see it. You're happy now. Maybe you were really angry. It's like they're angry that you're good, though. It's like you're good. You're angry. They're upset. It's nothing major. Okay? But yeah, that's pretty much what I got for y'all. Hope it resonates. Thank you. Love you. Bye. Go and take a little trip. It's such a future with me. Go and take a little dip. Go and take a little dive. Get that energy right. We gon' get it together. Cause the car, the cars, the key clarity. The cars, the cars, the key what you need. Subscribe to my channel.